This is the documents area. Each board gets its own document storage area. Now it's up to you how you organize it. We do have a recommended way of organizing it, which is having a top level folder for each committee or board. So we have a full governing board folder here. Below that, we recommend having academic year folders and within that a folder for the date of each meeting. And we also recommend having a policies folder and perhaps you might want to have a governor visits folder or maybe an archive folder for older documents. Now you can find more information up here if you click on help and you'll find the help article which explains how we recommend organizing your files and folders. So if we choose the policies folder, you can see we have documents here. If you click on a document, you can view the document from within Governor Hub itself. You don't need to download the document. This is handy if you want to bring up a document on screen, perhaps during a video meeting. You can download as long as that's been enabled by your clerk, your board admin. Um, you can also print from the viewer and you can close here. If you want to add a file or a folder yourself, you can do that by clicking on the add button. Here you can upload a file, a folder or a web link. These files have all been locked by an admin and that means they can't be changed, deleted or renamed by mistake, but you can still access them. So we have a little menu here for each document. You can mark a document as signed, which is useful in the days of video meetings when we're no longer meeting in person. More than one person can sign a document and um, you can find more information about remote signing again in the help center by clicking on help at the top of the screen above. You can also download a document and you can see here for certain documents, we also have review dates. These are set by board admins. Um, green shows a policy that has a review date or a document that has a review date. Orange means the review date is coming up and red means it's overdue for review. So this document was due to be reviewed on the 18th of December in 2020. So if you'd like to share a document to the notice board, you can do that by clicking share onto the notice board like this. You can change the wording here if you like to and send it to all of your governing board or perhaps a committee. You can go back to the documents area. And if you have any questions or queries about using the documents area, go to the help center. We've got a whole section on how to use the documents area. And if you're still stuck or concerned, click on the help icon here and we should be able to answer your question as soon as possible.